Ghosts and goblins and ghouls? Oh my! I'm about to start building some Halloween mystery boxes. In this video, I will show you exactly what goes into each of those boxes. So if you like comic books, and if you like scary comic books, stick around. We're going to have some fun. Hey there, Bobby. Welcome to Shanghala. My name is Duke, and this is a crass commercialism video. Yes, normally I do not hit you too much with the advertising. I, you know, I let you know when I'm doing an unboxing where the books are coming from, what I'm doing with them, where they're going. But really, my regular videos are just about the fun and joy of the comic book collecting hobby. But this is one of those rare videos where I am engaging in crass commercialism. I'm uh, going to really kind of push on you <laughs> the uh, Halloween mystery boxes that are coming up from sellmycomicbooks.com. The uh, address is on the screen down below where you can order those. It is sellmycomicbooks.com slash mystery. They should be available uh, starting October 1st. And there will be a hundred boxes in this run of mystery boxes. And like our previous boxes, uh, each one will be a set of 10 random comic books. Of course, this being a Halloween box, the theme is horror and mystery and monsters. And uh, here is a look at some of the things that I will be picking from. Uh, what's on the table. And then uh, I also have these books here. Uh, these boxes that have some uh, books in them that I have picked out of inventory that I will be choosing from. So, yeah, it is uh, 10 random comics. The uh, price is $40, and that does include the shipping, so it's a pretty good deal. And you can see here from, you know, what's on the table, you know, with effectively $4 a book. That's not bad for what you're looking at. Uh, now, uh, we, do, we do promise that the value is at least $50, but again, you can see by uh, what's here that you're going to be no problem picking any 10 random books here and coming up with something that's going to be worth at least 50 bucks. But, again, as with our past mystery boxes, 1 in 10 will have a bonus book, a book that is worth $20 to $30 all by itself. So, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, in this video, I am going to actually build two or four or six uh, mystery boxes to show you uh, kind of exactly what goes into each one. So, uh, let me go ahead and get set up to do that. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, and I'll take a moment here and show you the bonus books. Again, you have a 1 in 10 shot of getting this bonus 11th book with your uh, 10 Halloween books in this mystery set series. So, here's the first one, Secrets of Haunted House, number 1. And then we have a Godzilla, number 1. All of these fit the, uh, the ghosts, the ghoulies, the monsters theme. Batman number 252 with the first appearance of the spook. Here's Dead of Night number one. Uncanny Tales number one. Weird Wonder Tales number one. Giant Size Man Thing and who doesn't love a Giant Size Man Thing? <laughs> Uh, then we also have these, these last few are really kind of special. So uh, this is the uh, Tower Records uh, reprint of Monster of Frankenstein. I forget exactly what issue number that is. But uh, as you can see here, we also have one of the Tower Records Tomb of Dracula. And so if you're not familiar, what this was is it's, it's a reprint of a Marvel comic book. And here you can see, you know, there is, there's this reprint. But... It also had, here in the back, an actual record, a 45 RPM record. Both of these have the original record. And uh, so that record was a recording of the story so that you could, uh, you could play that and listen along. So yeah, many of you probably don't have a record player. Uh, probably some of the younger ones among you may not even know what a record is. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, anyway, those are, I think those are pretty cool. I'm of the age, I was probably about six or seven when those came out. And uh, so I'm right at the age to think that is uh, just the super coolest thing ever. So I hope you'll like that if uh, you do happen to get one of those in your, uh, in your mystery set. And then this is sort of the grand prize. Uh, Amazing Adventures number six with uh, Susurpio. <laughs> you, you heard of Phil Collins' Susudio. Well, this is Susurpio. Nice classic uh, Jack Kirby monster cover. And that's, um, I would grade that at probably a five, you know, a, a very good fine. So, uh, yeah, those, those are the ten bonus books. But uh, now I will go ahead and show you uh, what the actual sets themselves, give you an idea of what the sets themselves will look like. All right, I think we are about ready to get started. And uh, usually what I like to do is I build two two lots at the same time, two boxes at the same time, two sets of 10, uh, in order to keep the books roughly comparable. And what I always do is I always start with what I call my Eden book. And so for my Eden books for this lot, we're gonna start with Casper Ghostland number one. And how about, how about Mickey Mouse 252? So those are both nice, nice ghosty Halloween types of things. Now, a couple of things uh, that you need to be aware of. Uh, one is that obviously you can see already, I like to build these mystery boxes as a, a real a, a compendium, a, a truly random lot that represents the full breadth of everything the comic book industry has had to offer through the years. So you're going to get, in addition to your, you know, what you might expect in a, uh, a horror box, you're going to get some, let's say, kitty books, you know, that, that meet the theme. And in this case, it's a, um, it's a, uh, you know, Halloween theme. And when I say kitty books, but I mean, I, I, I love the Disney Gladstone books myself. Uh, and the other thing to realize is that, you know, see, you've got a little corner missing here a little browning on the back you know not all of these books are going to be in near mint condition now what do you expect it's a forty dollar box it's roughly four dollars per book uh the value although again we we guarantee of at least a fifty dollars value and it includes the shipping so we're talking you know really three dollars a book this casper's ghostland number one i haven't looked it up but it's um you know, that's that's pretty good value. So obviously, you know, it's not going to be a near mint book. This is, what year is this? 1958. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, the, the Mickey here is uh, 1989. So there's a little disparity there. And so I said I like to build two boxes at once. And that is so that I can make sure they're of similar value. So like next round or some subsequent round, we're going to make sure we've got something a little more value over here than we have over here. But I said these are my Eden books. And what do I mean by that? Well, there, there's a young couple. I believe they live in the Canadian Maritimes somewhere. And uh, they have a YouTube channel. It's called Me Unit Comics, M-E. That's the initials. His is M. Hers is E. I've heard them say her name is Eden. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever heard them say what the M stands for, but uh, I'm going to call them Mike until I hear differently. <laughs> so Mike and Eden. Uh, and they do great unboxing videos, and they have been a regular customer of our past uh, uh, mystery boxes. And you, know, you get the kind of idea. And I say they're a young couple, but I, I have got to that age where, to me, anyone who's under 35 looks like they're 17. <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because when I was 17, I could sniff out a sophomore from a freshman at 200 yards. These days, I get all I can do to just see 200 yards. <laughs> but um, so I say they're a young couple. I don't know exactly how old they are. Um, younger than me, anyway. And uh, they do unboxing videos. And I get the idea that really he's the collector and that she she is supportive and, and enjoys the books as, as well. But you can see that when, when they do an unboxing and they get something like this, she lights up. You know, just her, her eyes come alive and big smile. 
And you can tell that's her book. <laughs> so um, I want to keep Eden happy so that Mike will keep buying boxes. <laughs> so I call these my Eden books. And I always make sure that every box of every run, every series that we do, has at least one Eden book so that whatever, whatever box they get, that uh, they will have, uh, they'll be guaranteed to get at least one book that's for Eden. And the other reason I do it, I'm so, I'm so glad that I kind of discovered their unboxing videos because, as I said, I like to do, I, I like to build these boxes that are you know, truly random with, with everything the industry has to offer, uh, a, a wide variety in any one box. And I have seen people in past unboxing videos of our boxes take a, a Richie Rich book or an Archie book and actually stab it with a switchblade knife. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Matt, from Rude Planet. <laughs> Actually, Matt is a great guy, too, and you should definitely... Rude Planet is another channel. Me Unit Comics uh, and, and Rude Planet. Those are my two recommendations uh, this video. Uh, you should go uh, out and uh, subscribe to both of those channels. But I, I've seen Matt stab a book with his switchblade knife. I've seen him throw it across the room. You know, if there's something in a mystery box that, that he doesn't like. And so I was very trepidatious and concerned like are people going to stop buying our mystery boxes if i put things like this in them and uh i'm so glad that i discovered uh me unit comics and know that there's at least one person out there who truly enjoys getting this type of book so like i said matt's concerned aside <laughs> or other people um, i always make sure every box has at least one one book like this so I need to balance out this book and this book. So why don't we, we have had a ton of these in the past. Now this is a natural for a Halloween box. Batman Madness, Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special. And uh, it's from 94. And uh, we've had a ton of these, but this was actually the only one I could find in inventory. And I didn't go through every box in our inventory to, to search out some appropriate books for these boxes. In part because the longer it takes me to put together the boxes, you know, the the higher the labor cost, the less we end up making on on the uh, books. Yeah, although frankly, you know, um, it, it's a it's a good way to clean out inventory as well, um, because that book has a lot of value, but it's probably not going to do that well on eBay. Same with this. This book has a lot of value, Casper's Ghostland Number One, but it's probably only going to get three or four bucks on eBay. You know, we're talking the the actual retail book value, what you might expect to pay at a, at a you know, comic book store versus what, what uh, it's likely to bring on eBay. So uh, this is the only one of these I could find this time. So let's do that. And now let's find something to balance this out with. And let me pick. See, this is the hard part, isn't it? Uh, oh, here's something. And this, this isn't super high grade either. Well, maybe I don't want that. I don't really, that's a little too low on the grade side of things. Let us, let us do, uh, let's pick an Atlas book. How about an Atlas book? Would that be fun? I think so. Kind of the monster theme here. That one's fairly decent shape. So we'll go with a weird suspense from 1975 featuring the tarantula. That's a good mystery book. Now, another thing that we used to do a lot of, we did a lot of in last year's Halloween boxes, but I just, I haven't been able to find them if we still have some, and that's these EC reprints. So I'm gonna put one of these, uh, I've only got a few of them this time around. So I'm going to put one of those in each box. That's fun. And then let's do, da, 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 da. let us do some of these. Alan Moore's From Hell. That's a good Halloween-y book. So there's From Hell number seven and From Hell number six. So what's that? We're, we're at four books now. I need six more for each box, huh? Well, I always like to do a, a modern book as well. So let's go with Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number six and number three. 
And I always, I usually like to when I can, and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do it this time around, just because, again, I wasn't able to find a lot of good runs, but I always like to, to give like a little mini run of things. So let us, over on this side, let's do Night Force. This was a great series by Marv Wolfman and uh, Gene Colan from the uh, 1982 or so. Uh... Nice horror mystery series. So let's do Night Force 1, 2, and 3. So I've lost count. <laughs> We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 8. And now I need to find three books to put over here. So let us go with a Gold Key Dr. Spectre. And so looking for a... Decent shape Tomb of Dracula. I see I pulled these out and none of them are really great. I always like the books in the mystery boxes to be at least a seven for newer stuff. But if it's older, if it's you know fifties, sixties, you know, I'll go down to a six or even a even a four or five. Uh but these these Tomb of Draculas are new enough that I don't know if I want to I want to give a Tomb of Dracula that's not that great. They're fairly older though. These are all early 70s. That one's okay. That one's okay. So we'll do a a Tomb of Dracula number 32. And then how about a witching hour number 55. So I think that's eight books each. I hope. <laughs> and then, you know, another thing I couldn't find a lot of this time out, and it kind of broke my heart, was Charlton's. I love the Charlton horror stuff, particularly because you get some great Ditko art. So here is, and again, it's not high grade, but Haunted number 11. And uh, The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 34. Now, one thing I did find this time out, as I was going through the inventory, is something that yeah, I probably should do these as singles, um, frankly. But I think I'm going to do them as, uh, as stuff for the, uh, for the Halloween boxes. Just have to find a couple here that are decent. Decent. Gotta find some decent ones. I don't want the crappy ones. Ah, here we go. How about... See, now here's where you're really going to get your value out of these boxes. Adventures into the Unknown by ACG, number 86. And let's go with... Oh, heck, why not? Number 99. This one doesn't look very Halloween-y, but it is Adventures of the Unknown. And then uh, the other thing I like to do uh, is to give something like from a small company, a random something from a small company that uh, you maybe have never heard of before. So let me give this one a skeleton key number five. That fits the theme. And then I think I want to do, because these books are fun, how about Wolf and Bird, Counselors of the Macabre, number 13. Lucky 13. So did I get 10 books here? Let's see. This is Skeleton Key, number 5. Adventures into the Unknown, Number 86. The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 34. Witching Hour 55. Are you keeping count for me? There's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Six is Dr. Spectre. Hell, I don't even know what number that is. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Number nine. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Elvira three is seven. From hell, number seven. That's eight. Vault of Horror, number one, it's a reprint, is nine. And then, ooh, I've got one too many books. Weird Suspense, and then the Casper. Is that 11? I think I screwed that up. I do, I do think I screwed that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, well, let's take the Weird Suspense. And I know some of you are like, oh, that's the one book I wanted. <laughs> and Casper's Ghostland. So that's a box right there. Let's, let's show it to you one more time. You could win this box. Vault of Horror number one, Gladstone reprint. From Hell number seven, Elvira number three, Dr. Spectre number nine, Tomb of Dracula 32, the Witching Hour, number five. The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 34. Adventures into the Unknown, number 86. Skeleton Key, number five. Casper's Ghostland, number one. Now, is that worth 40 bucks to you? If it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then these Halloween mystery boxes might be for you. And yes, they're not all near mint, but. Um, I think that's that's worth at least at least 40 bucks. I think that's worth at least 50 bucks, probably more. Uh, I'm not going to really price it out. Now, you also have a 1 in 10 chance of getting a bonus book. Oh, I can also tell you that we're probably going to throw in randomly 1 in 10 we'll get uh, this vampire, a uh, vampire, vampirilla book. It's a free comic day book uh, from this year, and we have a few of them still left over. And so we're gonna do one in 10 boxes, and this is not the bonus book. This is just an extra special one in 10. So that's a, an, an extra bonus for you. But anyway, let's look at this other, we'll, we'll review again this other stack here. You know, I only meant to make this like a, a five minute promotional video. I didn't realize this was going to be a, an all-day production. <laughs> so what do we got here? We've got um, Wolf and Bird, Counselors of the Macabre, number uh, 13. Adventures into the Unknown, number 99. We've got Haunted, number 11. Miss Ditko Art. She's running around in her panties. <laughs> We've got Night Force, number 1, number 2, and number 3. Elvira number six. I think I miscounted on this one too. From Hell number six. And then Tales from the Crypt number one. Batman Madness. Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special. And then we've got that Mickey Mouse. I think I did miscount again. So that's one, two. Sometimes you get a bonus book, not because you won the bonus, but just because I can't count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Let's uh, let's take out the haunted, and we'll leave you with the uh, council of the macabre, macabre, macabre. So there you go. Would you pay forty dollars for that? Would you be happy if you got that for forty bucks? Again, keeping in mind that includes the postage. So there's two sets. You want to build two more just for fun? Just for uh, shits and giggles? Okay, let's. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my Eden book. One of my Eden books going to be this time out. Let us, let us, I saw, I saw it over here. And I've got a couple of them. I don't know. Oh, that one's not in great shape. Well, yeah, but it's. I mean, what do you expect? It's 19, 1958 again. I mean, what do you expect for three bucks? Uh, maybe it's a little low though. Uh, let's do this one. This one's better. I don't know if I don't know if Eden likes little Lulu, but 
Oh, actually, this one's got a spine split. Yeah, that's crap. That's crap. All right, let's do that. So Margie's Little Lulu and Tubby Halloween Fun. And then Little Lulu Trick and Treat. It's weird. It's not trick or treat. It's trick and treat. It's supposed to be one or the other, but, you know, Little Lulu's a screaming bitch on wheels. She's going to take the treat and give you a trick. <laughs> Okay, so um, because I don't know to what degree Eden actually likes uh, Little Lulu, let us do this. I know she likes Archie books, so we're going to go with Sabrina the Teenage Witch number two and uh, this little Archie number 75. And again, this is not a... Not a uh, near mint book, but it's what year is this? And it's because it's the whole haunted house theme. Uh, 1972, so you know, what do you think of that? All right, so what are we going to do now? Let's uh, let us next pull out. Let us go with a couple of Charlton books. We'll do a, and I hope you're keeping track. I hope you're uh, keeping count for me so I don't miscount again. We will go with a Ghost Manor, number 46. And where'd that Haunted go? Haunted number 11. Then we'll do our Atlas books. Let's get that Tarantula back. There's the Tarantula. And keeping with the, uh, oh, this will be fun. Let's mix our horror and our um, sci-fi genres, and we will do Planet of Vampires number three. Ha <laughs> ha! Good stuff. All right, now i got to find some decent-looking vampire books here. This one looks pretty good. Here's a Tomb of a Dracula number 58. And let's give, that one's good, Tomb of Dracula 61. Now, what else have I got here? Let's do a couple more From Hell books. From Hell. Oh, that's number one. How much is that worth? Well, you know what? It's going in there. It's going in. By golly, golly. And then number two. And now you're each going to get, I think, a skeleton key. There's number four. There's number six. Now, these aren't in the best of shape either, but they're still pretty cool. So let's do a Classics Illustrated, Jekyll and Hyde, and a Classics Illustrated... Frankenstein. Oh, let's, let's go water damage here on it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pages inside are okay. So where, what are we at now? We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, now I miscounted again. One, two, three, four, five. See, no, it's eight, so I need two more. I need a two more books. Where am I going to find a two more books? Well, I think the one that got the uh, From Hell number one will get Night Force four and five, so that'll even that out. Why don't I... For the rest of these, oh, here's a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. How about a Marvel Zombie number one? And well, let's throw in that. Uh, let's throw in that other Gladstone book, Vault of Horror number two. So, see if we count right again. We've got Night Force number four. And five, Classics Illustrated, 
Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, Skeleton Key number six, From Hell number one, Tomb of Dracula 61, Weird Suspense with the Tarantula number three, Ghost Manor number 46, Sabrina number two, and Little Lulu Halloween Fun number 23, or it's actually Del Giant 23. Let's see if I counted correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yoo-hoo! I did it. And so this other one is Vault of Horror number two, Marvel Zombie number one, Classics Illustrated Frankenstein. Skeleton Key number four, From Hell number two, Tomb of Dracula 58, Planet of Vampires three, Haunted 11, Little Archie 75, and the uh, Del Giant, Little Lulu, and Witch Hazel Trick and Treat. And uh, what does that come out to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twice in a row I counted right. That's pretty awesome. All right, what do you think? You want to do one more round? That'll 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 actually show you six, six of the boxes you could win out of uh, out of this batch of books, out of this uh, this mystery box series. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So you could win one of those four. We'll do two more. And what are our Eden books going to be this time? Let us do a Donald Duck. A little bit of a spine bend there, but I think that's so fine. That'll press out. So Donald Duck Adventures 14 with the, uh, with the mummy. Das Mummy. And I saw a book here that I thought would be good. Where did it go? I was like, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And now I lost it. Oh. <laughs> is that it? No. Is that it? No. Here it is. So I don't know if kids even do this anymore. Is bobbing for apples still a thing? Halloween parties when I was a kid, you'd always have bobbing for apples. So that's not strictly Halloween, but it Certainly reminds me of Halloween, but I don't know if they do bobbing for apples anymore, but I think, so that'll be good. Richie Rich 130, Donald Duck Adventures 14, and then I was ooing and ahhing. I think I'm going to give both of these, one of these, Atlas Books, Grim Ghost number one. And you can, well, I try not to include too much of the same thing in these hundred boxes. Because we have a lot of people that buy multiple boxes. Some people buy three, four, five, six. And I feel bad if they get the same thing. But they're randomized pretty well. Because once I make the sets, the sets get uh, randomized by somebody else. And then the ten books are packaged in. Uh, and then the boxes get randomized again. So the person who ultimately grabs a box and ships it out has absolutely no way of knowing, you know, what box has a bonus book. And also, because they get randomized a couple of times, even though I've made these back-to-back, -back, if you buy two, you know, you won't necessarily get those two in consecutive boxes because they'll be randomized. Now, it's possible. <laughs> but, you know, it won't be just because you don't, don't feel, you know, if you buy two that you could get these two because they were made back to back because they're going to get, you know, there's a couple of rounds of randomization in there. All right, so there's those two. Those two. And I saw something here I wanted to throw in just by way of making you giggle and scream. Because I like making you giggle and scream. I can't find the damn thing, though. I just had my hands on it. Oh, well, let's do this, actually. This is a newer book. But we're going to throw in a, uh, oh, we've got, well, we're going to do a mini run here, aren't we? Stranger Things 1 
and two, and that's very Halloween-y. And because those are kind of modern books, let's balance that out with, I don't have a number one, but I've got two and three of Lock and Key, which was also a TV show. So two and three. So there's four books there. And where did those where did those things go that I was just looking at? I saw them just a moment ago, and I was like, that's going to be perfect. That's going to be just spectacular. Oh, here they are. <laughs> the Monsters. And I don't even know what issue numbers these are. If one of these is number one, I'm not going to put it in here. And these, these, could, these could be bonus books all by themselves, except, as you can see, some little shit <laughs> 50 years ago. When this book came out, wrote his initials on it, M.W. So what are the, this is Munsters number 14. And that's Munsters number, number 15. So again, you know, not everything in these boxes is going to be near mint. And if you're offended because you get a, a book with a, uh, you know, somebody's initials on it, well, you know, Golly, you know, it's a it's a pretty nice condition copy otherwise of the Munsters, which is what? When did this book come out? 1967. I'm I'm a 1967 model. So this book, you know, I now I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> that would be kind of gilding the lily, wouldn't it? Um, but uh I know what kind of shape I'm in. Oh look, November I'm also a November 1967 model. Look at that. This book is almost exactly the same age as me. Maybe I'll keep this for myself. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but uh, yeah, those are two good books, I think, in there. Now I'm going to balance them out with some newer stuff. Some newer stuff. And I think since I have this pile right here, I will just keep on trucking with the... Uh, with the skeleton keys. So there's 10 and 9. And I want to do, I want to do, those monsters have a lot of value, so I don't need to go too cuckoo nuts on the rest of this box. But let's, uh, do you call the demon Halloweeny? Let's do a little run of the demon 1 and 2 there. 1 and 2. And then three with Batman and four. And then let's do, you know what? I totally lost track again. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's going to be eight, too, isn't it? Uh, uh, uh. Ba, 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 da. He's a demon on wheels. I don't know why I'm singing Speed Racer. Let us... Here's something for you. Let's go Supernatural Thrillers featuring The Mummy, number 8. This one's in pretty good shape. Number 11. This number 8 has... Uh, Oh no, okay, that's yeah, that one's not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. How about this? Yeah, that's okay. Werewolf by Night 13. I mean 43, excuse me, with Iron Man, no less. So that's nine. Nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. He's a demon and he's going to be chasing after someone. Dead of Night number three. And Dead of Night number nine. So there you go. How's that grab you? So this box is going to be Dead of Night number nine. Werewolf by Night 43. Demon number four. The Demon number three, Skeleton Key number nine, the Monsters number whatever number we said that one was, 
Stranger Things number one and number two. And by the way, don't be fooled. This It's printed to look this way. It's printed to look like a book that's been in some kid's backpack all summer. So that's that's not damage on the book. That's actually how the book is printed. Uh, Grim Ghost number one. And Donald Duck Adventures number 14. So how's that for a nice mystery box for you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I counted right again. I'm wicked smart. And then we're going to have in this box Dead of Night number three, Supernatural Fillers. Uh, fillers. <laughs> There's no filler in any of these boxes. It's all quality comics. <laughs> uh, supernatural thrillers featuring The Living Mummy, number 11. The Demon, number 1. To, to do, get this bad boy out of here, out of that bag. Demon, number 2. There it is. Skeleton and key number 10, the monsters, whatever number we said that was. Lock and key number three, lock and key number two. The grim ghost number one. And Richie Rich number 130. And again, I'm going to I'm going to claim that this bobbing for apples meets the Halloween theme. Just because every Halloween party that I was at when I was a kid. That was one of the activities. So there you go. I think we've beat that up pretty well. <laughs> and that's exactly what six of the boxes are going to be. Uh, plus one in 10, we'll get a bonus book. And uh, look for these uh, to go live. We're gonna build 96 more of them. There will be 100 boxes. And they should go live uh, October 1st. That's the plan on sellmycomicbooks.com slash mystery. And last year's Halloween box uh, series was only 75 boxes, and we sold out of them in a couple of weeks. So if we sell out of these real quick, there might be time to do another round. To do another round of uh, mystery uh, boxes for Halloween. Last year's boxes also, in addition to... Um, the box uh, to the comics also had some candy thrown in. Although I, I, <laughs> I had to tell them, I'm because they had like candy bars, Milky Way, and things like that. And I was like, um, you don't know how hot a region these boxes are going to. <laughs> so I, I talked them into like, you know, nixing the candy bars and uh, putting in like, you know, hard candy and, you know, sweet tarts and things like that. Um, so this year's boxes may contain the candy as well. And, and again, don't forget that in addition to 1 in 10 getting the, um, the mystery boxes, uh, the mystery books, the, uh, the bonus books, I'll get it out eventually. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, what, 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 1 in 10 will also have, I can't find them, those Vampirillas. Scroll back, you can see what they look like. The free comic book day va Vampirillas. So if you get a free uh, comic book day Vampirilla, uh, that's, just, that's just an extra bonus. That's not the one in 10 bonus books. That's just an extra special freebie that, uh, that you got lucky on. And who knows, you could get uh, one of the bonus books plus, plus a Vampirilla, plus the candy, plus 10 bucks. Uh, fantastic, wonderful... Uh, splendiferous Halloween themed comic books, 10 of them for the low, low price of just $40, including shipping. Like I said, I think I beat that up pretty well. That, that's, that, that was, um, that was a pretty good run for a five minute promo video. <laughs> so, uh, hey, uh, please, uh, please snatch these up. October 1st, they go live. Sellmycomicbooks.com slash mystery. And until next time, Goodbye, good luck, and please be good to each other.
Ghosts and goblins and ghouls, oh my. <laughs> that sounded stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <clears throat>